these are awesome little things that you need to know about. So first of all, these are the symbols that you need to learn for diodes and LEDs. And if we're a bit confused what LED stands for, it is a light emitting diode. LED, which is why the symbols are really, really similar. It's just the LED has these arrows coming off of it, and that's the light being emitted. Now, diodes will only let current flow in one direction. Which is why the current potential difference graph, potential difference graph looks like this. And that should not be an R, that should be a V. Current potential difference graphs. So over this side, there's no current being let through, so nothing happens. And then once the current is being let through, um, the, poten the potential difference increases. We can see this from the symbol, which has an arrow in it. So the current is only going to be allowed through in this direction here. LEDs are awesome little things, and this is the symbol for them here. They are light emitting diodes, so current is only going to go through in one direction, and we're going to have light emitted. The advantages of this are they're going to have a really long life, they're really energy efficient, they are tiny, so you can use them for medical applications and stuff like that. They're really, really cheap to run because they have such a small current going through them. Uh, but the disadvantages are they have really low light levels, so you might need to use several to get the same sort of effect as you would from an old style bulb. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.